liquid nitrogen, yummy. But that's not what this is about. Right? So I'm making this little uh, demo for the next Apollo 13 video. So I need to have a sort of example of how these nitrogen chewers work. And so what you're going to have is the liquid nitrogen in the bottom of there. Then you have one tube that goes all the way to the bottom. And you have a second tube which will just sort of um, give you a bit of a vent. And the reason I'm doing this of course is such that if I put my liquid nitrogen in here pressure can actually sensibly build up in here because I've got you know two two vents to the outside and the reason I wanted to do it this way of course is I want to show that there's no real way you can sensibly suck out the liquid nitrogen so if I just start a pump on from this and try and suck the liquid nitrogen out you'll see it well you won't probably won't be able to see it from there but it does sort of suck it up but not in any real convincing fashion right because if you sort of suck it up it instantly boils in the tube and that's no good. So this is the more, the, the quicker way to empty it is you just block up that guy there. <laughs> it's really quite effective. Um, yeah, that's just awesome. Uh, so this is of course the uh, way that they would have got their gas out of their tanks on the Apollo thing. But the problem of course comes, is it, what if there's a, a hole in here? such that it can't, you know, it's effectively like, what happens if I do it the other way around? Well, you know, this tube has to go into the liquid, and if there's a bit of a hole in the tube, oh, oh, we're, we're all out. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's still a bit of fun for the liquid nitrogen volcano. Worked better than I thought it would. <laughs>